On Contact with Chris Hedges. I'm joined today by Alfred McCoy, who holds the Harrington Chair in History at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. His research has been focused on the emergence of the modern Philippines, the netherworld of covert operations, and the history of modern empires. The CIA attempted to block the publication of his first book, The Politics of Heroin in Southeast Asia. He is also the author of Policing America's Empire, The United States and the Philippines, and the Rise of the Surveillance State. His latest book, is in the shadows of the American century, the rise and decline of US global power. I want to talk about what you call the demise of the United States as the preeminent global power. You write, it could come far more quickly than anyone imagines. You actually, at the end of the book, talk about you know, various kinds of scenarios. Why is the American empire so fragile at this moment? Because all empires are fragile. All empires are fragile. All empires are fragile. At the moment of their ascent, when their legions are marching, they blacken the skies with their aircraft, their ships thunder off the coast, they march across continents, sweeping petty states before them. They seem so unstoppable, so mighty, so eternal. But actually, unlike the organic resources of an, even a modest-sized nation state, whose defense and economy and state operations rise organically from the people and the land, these empires are operating overseas, far from home. They're extraordinary costs. They're incredibly jury-rigged, fragile apparatuses. So they look mighty at the peak of their power, but once they begin to fall apart, there's kind of a cascading effect. They fall apart with an unholy speed. They fall apart with an unholy speed. They fall apart with an unholy speed. Micromilitarism is a term divide by, devised by historians that say that that when empires are, are in their ascent, their use of military power is rational, almost unstoppable. But when they begin to decline, when this process of collapse, this cascading... Can I just interrupt in this from the book, but also restrained. The use of military yeah. power is, is not something that they use uh, you know, without careful, careful calculation. Yeah, everything seems to work on the ascent. Every move seems a masterstroke. Leadership's always seemed brilliant. Generals are victorious. It, it all works. And then in the wind down, as everything is, this cascading collapse proceeds, all of that reverses itself. And so in the psychological pressures uh, uh, as power fades and people suffer a loss of international prestige, people also suffer a loss of, of confidence internally because they've identified themselves as Americans or British with this power. They become irrational and they lunge and they come up with the idea that a military masterstroke will suddenly reverse this decline of power and recover all that power. I think the George W. Bush administration's plunge in the Middle East in the Iraq war was a classic instance of micromilitarism. We'll only be able to understand the full impact of that a decade or two from now. But I think in retrospect, we'll look back and see. You make an interesting point.